final of Costa Mesa Regionals. We do. I'm Jeremy Jallen. This is Adam Doricott. And it is Igor Costa versus Finnegan Lynch. Yeah, I mean, Finnegan, uh, we haven't featured him, I think, today. We did feature him yesterday. Um, and this is actually sort of sort of a revenge match. Um, yeah. Igor said that in Dallas, last time they played an expanded event together, uh, Finnegan actually got the win over him, as in day two. It didn't matter, Igor still made top eight, obviously, but you know, it's still nice to, to pick up where you left off from, from one of these matches. Yeah, and we have been not really seeing much Zorark this uh, today in stream, at least. But Finnegan here with... Zorark with the four egg and the Executor as well, playing against Igor's Drampa Garboder deck. You're excited to see some uh, Executor action? I really want to. <laughs> I really want Do to. Do you think it's good enough in this matchup? Because it's kind of easy to knock out. It's kind of easy to knock out, but you could stop your opponent from playing a supporter. Maybe they have an ability lock going. Yeah, that would be... <laughs> that would be something to, to help out, but uh, I don't know if it's going to be the, the easiest thing to get into play. Yeah, but we do see a Tapu Lele using its Wonder Tag. Igor searching through his deck, probably looking for that Bridget to get those Trubbish in play. Uh, remember, this is the deck that was kind of built to beat Zorark. Like, you have Righteous Edge, discard a bunch of your d d double colorless, and then you just clean up later with that Garboder. Yeah, I mean, there's no, no better way to do it, really, is just get in there and, and get some damage down early. Uh, you know, try and disrupt your opponent as well. You do have, you know, getting rid of the special energy is the theme of today, theme of this tournament. Yeah. Stop double colorless being played. And, you know, one of the cards that does it so well is, is Drampa, only taking a colorless. Uh, so, you know, whatever you put on there, even if you put a psychic on there, you're still able to deal with that. Um, a little bit of chip damage. Uh, would help out. We'll say though, there is the option, of course, for that big play, uh, fill up the bench with, with Skyfield, and then go for it. On the flip side, Eagle carrying that parallel city that we saw so much, um, will be able to limit those bench sizes and make those riotous beatings uh, not so riotous. Yeah. Uh, there's the Ultra Ball for the Trubbish on the bench. Debating playing the Choice Band before he plays the N. Is, uh, yeah, he is going for it. Uh, putting it down alongside that that jumper uh, so that will be doing a little bit more righteous edge all of a sudden becomes uh, basically a 50 damage attack which is more than the, you know that 20 that you think is, is kind it, of it adds made. up it adds up yeah no it really does and if you can keep it on there uh, you know really really good news for him there uh, becomes a little more threatening more like a quaking punch damage yeah and this n will be pretty big one trubbish is good but if he gets another one that's exactly what you want to see Yep, he's not, not got it there. He does have the double colorless and the psychic energy in hand, though. Uh, so the psychic energy attached to the active Drampa and the pass over to Finnegan. All right, Finnegan, remember, plays those four executes, and his deck really just tries to get going with just a bunch of free cards from trade. And it looks like he has Ultra Ball in hand. Could get him that Tapu Lele and get him access to any supporter he chooses. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be a big thing, is he needs to, to get some, get as much down on the bench as, as he possibly can, really. Uh, wants to be able to make sure that he's not getting caught by this Drampa the, the following turn. Uh, so no way that's going to happen. You see, uh, discard one of those eggs going away. Um, will be pretty, pretty helpful for him there. Yeah, definitely looking for that Lele for Bridget if he doesn't have it already. Uh, just the way to combat this deck is to overwhelm them before they get Garbotoxin in play. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of an ask, though. I mean, he needs to get as much out as he can. We do see him having a good rummage through the deck right now, making sure the pieces he needs are, are there to, to fill his boots on turn <laughs> to one. To fill his boots. Yeah, fill his boots. Fill the bench with the Zoroarks. So that making sure you get the most of your turn one. It's not that strange a phrase, Jeremy. I think it's pretty strange. Okay, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to defend it at this point. It's uh, it's too late for that now. Uh, we do see Finnegan going through, just cross referencing against what's in his hand. Uh, yeah, and a wow, the gets shaman. the shaman. So uh, maybe something important might be prized. He did write down a few notes. Yeah, both players actually. Eggs. Maybe he has another ultra ball in hand. Could that be it? And yeah. wow, I actually think he does. Yep, yeah, he's uh, 
Ultra Ball Play. again. There it is. Another egg being put out. And so I the think the, egg, the rest of the cards in his hands, maybe like Skyfield and Double Colorless. Yeah. Doesn't really want to discard those. Ooh, goes to the Skyfield. Yeah, it's kind of costly because I think Igor's deck plays three Parallel City. And the fact that you only play three Skyfield as well, uh, and you're already down one, um, it might come into effect. I mean, he can pull it back with the Puzzle of Time. That is true. It. That he is does true. have access to the double puzzle mechanic, so will be an option for him to end the game. But, uh, you know, if he needs it, that'll be nice. He does grab the Tapu Lele this time and the Bridget. We haven't really seen many turn one Bridgets uh, from some of these decks. Yeah, there's certainly other options to take in the expanded format. Uh, it's not kind of one of those few, should we say, top tier. It's, it's not standard where it's like, you, you have, have to, bridge to bridge it or else yeah. you lose. You could Pokemon Fan Club if you were feeling uh, mm. underwhelming. <laughs> mm, nah. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, he does go all in on Zeruas on this one. So it looks like he's going pretty much saying, yep, I'm just going to Zoroark you to death. Yeah. Looking like... Just remember, like I said before, you really have to just explode out of the gates, and you have to do it before that ability lock comes into play. Yep, that's the that's the only time you have. Uh, you want to make sure your hand is nice and, and full. Oh, there's the double colors coming down on the bench, Zorua, and a, a choice band as well. This is a little bit risky because if Igor has a Guzma... Spread it out his resources. Yeah, but... He wants to play those down because now he draws a full six off of setup from Shaman EX. Noise. Noise. Noise setup. It's one of those. That, that when setup you... is uh, chorus for 16 right now. That's... Yeah. The, oh, that's the maximum call. <laughs> <laughs> How do you rate things in your life? Uh, cards off a of call rose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but, you know, that's, that's what he wants. He got a lot out. He spread his resources out, which I think is going to help, which means if Eagle picks on one Zerua. Uh, then he's going to be in a good place. One of the resources is already gone, the Field Blower. And there's a Choice Band oh, going on the Garbatoxin. Garbator goodness. just really wanting that, not even trying to hope for a Float Stone. Yeah, I mean, he's now but, with the Drampa ready yeah. to go. <laughs> Double Colors on the Drampa. Berserk <laughs> taking the knockout on the Zorua. Igor is knowing his route to victory, and he's taking it. Yep, he's basically going to limit uh, the potential Zoroark play, uh, not only through the ability lock that he's got there, um, but just not by having them on the field. Um, that's a really big thing is, is, you know, doesn't have the access to trade anymore unless he has a, a field blow already. And, you know, yeah, he's just literally going to be going offensive Zoroark, using it for basically one third of its potential kind of skills that it has. Yeah. Trades are not available. You don't have the dark energy to use the GX attack. <laughs> so you are using one attack uh, for the duration of this game. The pseudo Wudu will come into play there for Finnegan. Doing absolutely nothing yep. staring down that Garbotoxin. Yeah, he probably wants to just uh, grab the support of VS Seeker. Um, and yeah, it's interesting with the double colors coming down on the bench Zorua it kind of limits a little bit of options later on if Finnegan doesn't get the Skyfield and the three Pokemon he needs to take the knockout. Yep. Just because Drampa just goes, all right, well, I can, like, ace a roller, retreat a guy, and then Righteous Edge you, and you're already down a du two double colors, essentially. Yep, well, this is going to be a Cold Rush for eight, uh, which I think is a good amount of draw that he needs uh, early on. Probably wants to just make sure he can stream Zoroark GX to attack. Uh, then make sure that he draws up the right number there. And... Uh, have a look in his hand. It's... All I ever see is a choice band. Yeah, uh... does, doesn't look the most <laughs> thrilled with it. Um, he has, of course, also lost access to the the eggs, the eggs engine. Yeah. Uh, not going to be able to, to play that one, which means uh, sort of four of the cards in his deck are completely useless now. Yeah, and him not really hitting Skyfield, I don't believe so. And... Even if he did, that's two Skyfield, then just a Parallel City comes down from Igor, yeah, Righteous yeah. Edge, and really, what does Finnegan do? I think Igor is basically uh, waiting here to see the Skyfield, let him put all those Pokemon down, and then just drop the Parallel City in re response. Oh yeah, Parallel City, discard a bunch of your Pokemon, and then you already can't bring back Execute, so you're really down a lot of Pokemon and struggle to take those knockouts later on in the game.
Yep, and then you struggle to use... I mean, he's not going to be trying to trade anyway, but it's always nice to be able to use your items, like Ultra Ball, like Computer Search, Dowsing Machines, uh, without kind of being punished for it. Um, with that in mind, yeah, he's, he's not able to do that. And it, it does look like Finnegan's going to have to try and find that Field Blower uh, for one of these explosive turns. And there is the double colorless coming down on Tapu Lele. He's ready. He's ready to go for offensive Tapu Lele. And he has a Dazzling Machine in hand as well. I'm not sure if he has that much useful stuff in his discard. I see a couple N two, colors, maybe two sycamore. sycamore. He does go for the Dazzling Machine, though. And Just, it looks like an Ultra Ball. Yeah. Yeah. Calls back his Ultra Ball. And discards another two to be able to use it. Man, Igor wishes he had some executes right about now. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a lot of cards given up. And we do see Finnegan uh, placing that one on there just for clarity there. Just so you know, it wasn't just a discarding four for a dowsing machine. I don't know if that card would be good if you had to discard that four. That seems a little bit much. <laughs> seems a little excessive. Everything else is discard two and then dowsing machine. Uh, no, four, please. Well, if you had four executes in the discard, then maybe it would start working, but... Only if they're able to uh, operate under the uh, Garbatoxin log. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Versus Seeker for the Colrus. Colrus for nine. So, helping out that Ultra Ball, not only getting him another Trubbish in play, so he's got the two for potential Trash Lunch later in the game, uh, but gives him another Pokemon off the Colrus, makes it a more valuable Colrus. Anything you can do, Finnegan, I can do one better. Literally one better. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if he actually chooses to Righteous Edge here or Berserk for the 110. But There's I think the parallel. I think with the Parallel City, he might choose to Righteous Edge. Yeah, yeah, really limit the options. Uh, meaning anything left on the field is going to struggle to to do what it needs to do. I think it's interesting that Finnegan leaves this uh, pretty much useless. But no, there's the Berserk for 110 damage thanks to that Choice Band. Meaning a single energy on the Tapu Lele can take the knockout on Zorak next turn. Yeah, and that's the kind of setup he wants. He will, of course, uh, and, ooh, lose. What if, he, what if he's like, all right, this Drampa's getting knocked out. I got a teammate's in hand. Oh, it'd be filth. Oh, that'd be dirty. We, we saw it from Azul earlier, and obviously the other person pilots in this deck. Uh, so maybe that is a play. He's just left that door wide open to say, hey, please knock out my Drampa. I have teammates. Um... But there's the red card from Finnegan. Even if he had it. And it gets us as well. Ooh. Ooh. The thing is, though, he's just revealed the rest of Igor's hand. That's another Trash Lance. And the Psychic Energy. Yeah, the Psychic Energy is what he needs to knock out. Uh, do we maybe see Finnegan manually retreat the Zorark? Yeah, it would be kind of a sluggish play. He uh, Draw the one card off the Getsus. Yep. I mean, it's kind of worth it. He's counting up his items now. I think uh, there's three, four, I think we saw. That's not bad at all. Yeah, that's four, and uh, it's actually going to be enough. Oh, five. 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 Igor marking it very nicely for us. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be enough to take on this, this Zoroark now. Um, so even if he doesn't get, uh, he will you know, lose his Drampa right here um, to something. I think Finnegan has to look at the option of, of maybe retreating it. He doesn't, and just takes out the Drampa straight away with the Riotus beating, leaving the heavily damaged Zoroark in the active slot. And what does Igor draw? Looks like an item. Or, you know, supporter. Oh, <laughs> he threw the teammates! He rips the teammates off the top of the deck. We got to see his hand with the Getsis, and I can assure you, at the time, there was no teammates in there. <laughs> I checked. Fresh off the top. That play, maybe he was holding onto it the turn before, but now he just gets it. This is... That's really, really nice timing. Wow. Uh... Basically, like, saying, oh, thanks, Finnegan. I got the teammates. Gets the muscle band. So that way he doesn't have to commit the energy to the active Tapu Lele. Puts it on the Garbodor, on the bench. And now, what do you do? Finnegan kind of gets punished a little bit for not retreating. Kind of saving yeah. that Zorak to be fresh. Yeah, he's now got one Zorak up, which is still going to need uh, time. Uh, especially with its very, very weak riotous beatings. Yeah, uh, the 60 parallel, damage. The right parallel now. city is going to make it a maximum of 80. Yeah. That's, that's a three hit knockout on this Tapu Lele. To be fair, though, without having abilities, Finnegan's hand is pretty massive. Yeah. I mean, he could maybe try and find some things. Um, 
He's going to have a little look in the discards God, there. I, I, I can't believe Igor just rips the teammates off the top of the deck. Right, just when he needed it the most. I mean, the only other option he had was to pull another draw supporter, which means he wouldn't have been able to teammates. Yeah. Um, there's a VS Seeker. See another Getsis here from Finnegan, maybe. <laughs> maybe trying to see if he pulled any extras off the prizes. Igor keeping track. Up to six items in the discard there. Yeah, it's kind of hit or miss right it's now. It's going to be a Getsis for one. Ooh, and we see the, the Acerola and a Sycamore in hand. Look at this. This is getting insane how good his hands are. If he takes any significant damage, he's just able to come right back up with Ace Roller. I'll pick it up. Oh, I'll get this Muscle Band back to my hand too, and a Double Colorless. Yeah, I mean, there's no way he can knock it out. He, the decision for Eagle really comes down to, uh, does he greed for it a little bit and hold on <laughs> to the Ace Roller? Um, but, you know, we've seen Finnegan. He's already lost a, a Skyfield uh, to the discard. And, you know, he needs to get rid of this Parallel City because at the moment his Riot is beatings, really whispering beatings. <laughs> and here we see the Ultra Ball adding a seventh item to the discard. Gets an Execute. Well, he's got to use something to deal more damage. Uh, take it back up to 80. Uh, it's really pretty limiting, though. 80 is not the number you're usually talking about when you're talking about Riot is beating. Yeah, it's a little far cry off from 210 damage. Yeah, we've seen those a few times this weekend. It's rare. I mean, it's such a commitment, but it's so worth it. Oh, Ooh, up to 110. 110. Moving on up. The big thing here, though, is the 110 will only be against that Tapu Lele. Yeah. Which is a Pokemon that he can so easily just Ace Roller up this turn. I, I think that's what we're going to see here, too. Yeah, he can't greed for it now. There's Ace Roller. Um, everything coming back up into the hand. He's still going to fall short. Of knockouts on this uh, Trubbish or tr Trash Lunch Garboda. Um, he would easily get it on a Trubbish and the uh, Tapu Lele just going right back down. Yeah, with that double colors on the Tapu Lele, setting up energy drive for the following turns. And with seven items in the discard, it's 140 damage minus 20 thanks to the resistance. And really, right now, both these players are playing the two shot game, but when you're playing a two shot game against a non two prize Pokemon, you inherently are just... You're losing. You're losing, you're losing yeah. that one. You're losing those trades like, kind of every single time. Uh, the big thing here is, you know, what can he do? That's one thing he needs. He needed the Skyfield. Now he can actually deal enough damage in a turn to knock out this Garboda. But remember, uh, Igor's down to three prizes right now. Right, I mean, he's still not able to trade. That's the big thing here. He's going to call us. So that's going to be going in for uh, seven. Yeah, the, the big moment here is if Finnegan can actually draw a field blower. If he can draw a field blower and double trade, then yeah, it's a really good turn for him. Uh, and also, you know, maybe he make the plays with any executes he, he draws into as well, um, as long as he, he gets that. Uh, the big thing here, though, he also needs some basic Pokemon so he can take the knockout on this trash launch variety with Riotus beating. All right, there's the seven cards. Does Finnegan have what he needs? There's one they execute. execute. Yep, that's one. He could commit it to the bench, though, and that could be a bit of a problem. And remember, if he tries to play a few of these cards, if some of them are items, it's just fueling the fire, and eventually he'll reach critical mass, and Ooh. these Garbodors will just trash lanch everything. We're up to 100 on the riotous beating. Just needs to find one more basic Pokemon. Uh, to be able to knock out this trash lunch Garboda really, really quickly. Uh, kinda, I think if he can do it, take the heat off a little bit. Uh, because that's the one with the energy attached. Then you're forcing Igor to have another psychic energy to be able to do that. I mean, his hand's pretty good, so I'm sure he'll be able to find a psychic <laughs> energy. Yeah, he'll probably be able to get there. We do see a compressor, another item. Igor very quick to rotate that die over and, and just say, yep. And we actually see him discard the field blower. I think that has to signal. Yeah, I have double puzzle in my hand. Yeah, the the double puzzle there is is a play. I mean, he's been holding on to so many items. He did, of course, Colrus away a bunch, uh, and he's giving up on your favorite Pokemon, Jeremy. Hey, there's still a chance <laughs> to puzzle of time it back to his hand. <laughs> I mean, he's got the execute on the bench, so why not? Let's go for it. <laughs> Let's. You know how you can't play teammates if you've been blockaded. <laughs> 
<laughs> That'll show him. Yeah. That'll keep him in check. Alright, feel blower in the discard now. You would have to think puzzle time is coming. Yeah, I mean I don't think there's any doubt of it. There they are, double puzzle. Heading on through that deck. Uh, the big thing there though is he just adds two more. He's now up to eleven in there. Uh, uh yeah. Until, that's, he, until he pulls things he pulled out. The field blower, but the field blower is gonna go back, so it's gonna be eleven yeah, still. It's still gonna be eleven. <laughs> Igor's waiting until he plays the field blower, I guess. Yeah. But to the reveals that's what he's pulling out with the double puzzle of time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. It's ten. Ten, okay. Ten for now until he plays field blower. And honestly, he could save the field blower for next turn. Right. He's 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 able to get a knockout this turn. Um the problem is is if Eagle finds the psychic energy, he can just keep knocking out the Zoroarks. Um but there is the field blower. Yep. Discarding the choice band off that garboder. Now propagation trade there is in is. effect. The big thing as well is if Eagle's holding onto a parallel city. He's just able to, to stop this happening again. Oh, yeah. It, it'd be devastating. I mean, we saw the, the quick replacement of the Parallel City from, from Alex, just constantly replacing it with Rough Seas. Uh, but now it looks like he's going to be able to switch that around and mix it and up a little bit. There we go. Right is feeding, taking the knockout on Garboder. Yep, he's going to promote... He doesn't have any float stones in, so this is kind of a, a bit of a Tough decision for him here. So, whichever one he promotes, either Tapu Lele or the Trash Lanch Garboder, both of them still require an energy to take a knockout on this Zorark. Yep. Or like a Muscle Band or... Yeah, something to bump up the like damage. Um, at least for Tapu Lele. Secret Kukui. Secret Kukui. <laughs> and that's really what he's thinking, because I believe he still has a Sycamore in hand from a few turns ago. Yeah, I mean, he has the muscle band too, so he has the knockout. Yep, that's the muscle band that he ace rolled up. Ooh, he's also added the Man, psychic. Uh, that was just an insane hand. Yeah, he, I, don't, I don't know what else to really say. He had all the pieces there, so you know. And he, he has the gar the float stone for the garbotoxin. Yep, that's, and the parallelicity. Okay. Okay, that's sick. Calm down, Igor. That, I know you want to win, but <laughs> that sycamore's given him everything he needs. Uh, yep, we got a different. Ooh, ooh double garbotoxin. So nice that he did it twice. Um, and there's the Tapu Lele energy drive for the knockout. One prize left. And Igor's off to the races in this game one. The big thing here is I think the only way Finnegan can, can win this one is uh, he's got to get rid of Trashalanche Garbodor because of how many are in there. Um, of course, the resistance will come into play and, and keep it close. But a single choice band, a muscle band yeah. on the top. And if also, you Finnegan will need to play items to try and come back. He definitely needs a field blower yeah, and as soon things as... like that. And as soon as he plays that, it's critical mass for the Trash Lanch. So he will have to essentially pull a turn together of Guzma along with like Puzzle of Times to get set up. And that's a Guzma he has to play without playing any items. I mean, he can, but you know we haven't seen any Rescue Stretcher play yet. So maybe I'll have to grab something that way. Yeah. And just kind of, uh, you know, stall out for time with this Tapu Lele as well. And, yeah, yep. Finnegan conceding the game. He's like, well, I, I have too many items in the discard. I can't Guzma and get everything I need. So, yeah, we're going to game two. I'm going to try to draw a little better and hope you don't get Garbotoxin in play. Yeah, but, I mean, he had one turn in that game. We talk about that turn all the time where you get to trade. Yeah. You feel blow it away and you finally get to trade. Uh, but at the time it came up, it was just so late. In the game, he was down to two Zoroark. He, he actually had a compressor and puzzle of time for the field blower because he couldn't draw into it. Yeah, yeah, that's how kind of troublesome it was. And the thing is, if you battle compressor, then double puzzle of time, that's 60 damage you're adding to a Trasher Lanch, um, which is pretty, pretty big, uh, especially when you're trying to reach for these big numbers, these 200s, 220s, 230s. Like, yeah, it's definitely doable. Yeah, and we saw how strong this Drampa Garboder is against Zorark. Just ability lock, and then being able to hit insane amounts of damage late game with Trash Lanch. Yeah, and that's literally the, the, the strategy guide. Is 
uh, set up with your Dramper, uh, be able to Righteous Edge, Special Energies if they come down, uh, or just Berserk for good amounts of damage you can capitalize on later with something like the Tapu Lele or a weaker Trash Lunch, and then move into the big Trash Lunches at the end. Yeah, that turn two Berserk we saw from Igor just taking out Azora and saying, yeah, try to beat this. Yeah, it's not easy at all. Uh, we do see a different start here. We've got double Trubbish from Igor uh, against the Zerua from Finnegan. Igor just starting multiple Trubbish, essentially every game, really putting him ahead. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be able to use one for Garbatoxin. Uh, we do see the immediate Tapu Lele from Finnegan. Uh, maybe looking for that big turn one Bridget play again. I'm still hoping out for red card gets us, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? May as well go for it at this point. Ooh, oh, does hover the gets us. Oh, please, Finnegan, please. You're, you might not be getting your uh, executor wish, but... I, I, I didn't get the red card gets us turn one in Dallas. I, I want it here. Uh, Eagle checking his hand, uh, maybe a little bit nervous about the items he's got in there. Uh, we just yep, see him take it, the gets us. I think you're getting getting a wish, Jeremy. I think it could be time. Either that or I just see the future. <laughs> I think the big thing here would be uh, making sure that Igor doesn't have access to something like Ultra Ball, um, which is going to be something that he needs to maybe kind of finish up. He's already put five cards down. So, well, five cards in hand. Um, see what Finnegan decides to go for here after taking the Getsus. He will get this. Get two off of that. And having just a Colrus in hand with the Parallel City and the Double Colorless. So Finnegan kind of saying, or his play of Getsus right here is kind of punishing Igor for only having Colrus in hand. Yeah, because Finnegan not only doesn't have the, the, the chance to bridge it, he now knows. I'm just going to keep the bench pretty small. Yeah. Maybe and one more. Looks like a Psychic Energy off the top for Igor here. Oh, that's not what you want. So Parallel City, maybe Psychic on the Trubbish, and then a Chorus for two. Oh. This is this is not where you want to place your energies. Uh, he is going to Chorus for a massive two. What? How does this rank on your Chorus meter? <laughs> I'm going to be honest, this is the weakest Chorus we've seen all weekend. It, it, ha it definitely has been. Uh, yeah. But this is that Desperation Chorus. Uh, Igor is not... Uh, the not, last, the uh, last train home, Colrus. Th there's also a Desperation Colrus that Igor has been a part of as well uh, in Finals of Worlds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you've got to... But, he, wow, he got the Tapu Lele off the Colrus for two. This man is drawing such limited cards and uh, still seems to hit all the things he needs. He does use it to grab a Sycamore for next turn. Um... And have a look through his deck while he's finally in there. Man. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's, I, I, I'm speechless. I don't, that, I don't know what to say. That's maybe the best cold for, for two. <laughs> I've been bamboozled, quite frankly. If you factor in what he drew off it, yes, that's a good cold for two. Yeah. Okay. Numerically, it's still pitiful. <laughs> but. Man, that was insane. Yeah, I mean, he's grabbing hold of the supporter for, for next turn. And the big thing about showing this to your opponent as well is if Finnegan's like, yeah, I'll end you, then you're just giving Eagle more cards. If you leave it, you're basically saying, yes, you're allowed to Sycamore for a nearly fresh seven. Yeah, you, it's a lose-lose situation either way. Um, the only really, like, I guess, middle ground is if you draw the red card and red card him. Doesn't draw as much off of N. Right. But, man, I... Uh, also, we haven't seen the other card in his hand. Not sure what it could be, but... Finn's... Is it going to be as good as a Tapu Lele? Mm, I don't know. But Finn's turn one, even with that Getsus, he didn't really get set up. Yeah, because he was so scared of allowing that Chorus to, uh, to make the plays. And there's the retreat from the Trubbish bringing up Tapu Lele. Now action is back on Finn. Yeah, he is going to evolve into the Zoroark GX, so... Nice little start from him there. Could ooh, execute in play. We have to get his trades on. Has the double colorless. Has the sky field. And he's going to get rid of Parallel City. That's going to help him out when he does need to flood his bench. Finds the DCE and the choice band on this one. 
propagates the egg, puts it in his hand onto the bench. <laughs> a chorus for four. Still a bad chorus. You can't deny that that's, uh, that's not a banger. That chorus does not. No, not definitely really not. Excite the fans. <laughs> hey, he's it, get... it would be exciting if he's somehow able to get what five Pokemon off this draw to four, and that's only really possible with Battle Compressor for a bunch of execute. Yeah, let's see what he uh, see what he pulls up. Uh, do I have to do I have to hunt? Oh, not showing us his hand just yet. I I, I don't think he has it, and yeah, I think we'll just see a Riotus beating for ninety damage. Yep, he's doing the count just there. Ooh, uh, he does have a level ball for a Zorua. Uh, something he really needs just in case something happens to the Zorark. Yep. Just uh, getting that going right now. Uh, needs to have a backup Zorark. There's no way you can play the game with just one. Oh, definitely not. I mean, we've seen games with these Zorark decks, particularly with the Executes, where some of them, they... They're going all out. They're just attacking. The riot is beating. They're filling their bench with the sky fields. And then he has the battle compressor. <laughs> he has located it. Uh, there are other games, though, just to complete that point. Zorok GX is more trades than the Moroccan market. It's <laughs> truly ridiculous the amount of cards you can draw. Oh, and, uh, man. Here we go. The executes being pulled out with the compressor. He's going to be having a little, little snoop around. So... Right now, he is one short if he gets the three eggs, and that's if it's in the deck. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, based on the fact he's going to, to not pull out the third. Unless he has a way to grab another Pokemon, and he wants something else off this. So we get rid of Hexmania. I think that's more of just the card, like, I don't want to draw it. Yeah. But let's keep it away. There's no real reason to be, to be drawing it in this matchup, so... Uh, he's only going to take two Execute, uh, but if there's another basic available to him, maybe there's one in the hand. We didn't think Battle Compressor was there. Yeah. Uh, could be the maybe, option. Maybe he even has an Ultra Ball and uses those eggs to use the Ooh. Ultra Ball. That'd be juicy if he goes for it. Does he have... Oh, he's pulled two out. He's oh. shown them. No way. Oh, oh, they're going on the bench. One short of the knockout. Oh, that's galling for Finnegan. The big play just wasn't able to come through at the last and it's judge. And it's all because the other egg is prized. Yeah, that's literally it. Um, what's your rip and ace roller here? You know, just after watching. already using Sycamore? Ah, uh, yes, that would probably yeah. be a problem. <laughs> Man, what a crazy couple of turns so far. I mean... If he can keep this Tapu Lele safe, or at least provide some kind of backup for it, then he'd be in a really good position. I think he's going to struggle to do that. He does need to get it out of the active, of course. Um, but at least on the way out, he can swing for some damage. Seeing an ultra one, one thing, if he, could do, if he could find the Drampa GX, might be able to stall a few turns with that Righteous Edge. No, I think the Drampa GX would be a, a fine, fine way to play it. He does grab Tapu Lele off the Ultra Ball instead. So... Gonna be uh, digging around in there. I think he's making sure he plays his Tapu Lele before the Garbatoxin comes into play. Yeah. Making sure that he is able to capitalize with that. He grabs another Sycamore. Uh, so making sure that every turn he just pulls through his deck. And to be fair, this Tapu Lele still is kind of threatening this Zorark because energy drive with the active, well, he's 110 got... damage. He's gone then for it. Next turn he just needs another couple energy cards, maybe another Muscle Band or Choice Band. Yep, he has actually uh, instigated the Garbo Toxin as well, so no abilities um, here for, for Finnegan. Uh, he's going to be limited. Uh, the Colrus this time, pretty solid, eight. <laughs> All right, you know what I want to see right now? I, I think you it. can guess. Let's see an Executor Choice Band take the knockout on Tapu Lele and, and just then... punish Igor for having that Sycamore in hand. Yeah, he's been grabbing the uh, grabbing these supporters every time, and I'd love to see if he can just uh, please stop it from going. There's it's, the energy. Uh, here it is. Let's go. Come on, Finnegan. I want to see an Executor play. Oh, no, the energy on the Zerua. Oh. You didn't get your red card, Getsis. You only got Getsis. Now you've got energy on Zerua. It's just not your day, is it, Jeremy? It's not. <laughs> and I lost a dollar to you too. I, I don't know.
Yeah, it's not gone well. It's just not been a weekend for me. <laughs> and we had to cast Corner. <laughs> it's been an experience. These executes on the bench, it's just... It looks ridiculous. They have 30 <laughs> hit points. All right, there's the knockout. And again, Igor still needs quite a few things to take the knockout himself. As parallel. But parallel City is a pretty good start. An N. All right, and Igor goes to six. Finnegan down to four. But again, Igor still needs quite a few cards. Yeah, he's still still having a hunt, but it's uh, he's got to find outs in this one. Make sure he can get there. Let's see. I'm not quite sure. I think I see a double colorless. Do I? See a choice band as well? That's He's having a peep through Finnegan's discard, so... Wanted to know how safe his plays are. Maybe try and get a Trash Lunch on online, or maybe he's saving it for a little bit Field later. Blower. That's going to help the Trash Lunch play for later. So another 40 damage in there. Does have the double colorless for the Tapu Lele. But does he have anything to nudge that damage over the top? I see a choice band and a Trubbish, but I'm not sure for the actual... No! Alright! Keeping that Zoroark in the active, just covered in damage. I think for the first time, Igor didn't actually draw what he needed yeah. <laughs> off of the su yeah, shuffle he's, supporter. He's left the Zoroark with 190. Uh, so at least he knows that as long as he can attack it next turn, he's going to be able to get a knockout there. Uh, purely because there's no kind of recovery options uh, for Finnegan. He did hover over that double colorless energy, mulling over the opportunity to maybe retreat into the other Zoroark and just keep going from there. Yeah, that's one ca one card that these Zoroark decks don't actually play a lot is Acerola, which would be a perfect card right here. But there is just a riotous beating for 80 damage. Acerola oh. from Igor. It's uh, Oh, that's heartbreaking. Yep, yeah, that's time. We're going right back to it. The Tapu Lele. Getting the energy attached right back off it. We did see, of course, the float stone is still on that Garbotoxin Garboda here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the Eagle's going to be able to pick up a knockout this turn. It's crazy to see how strong Acerola is in this matchup. Yeah, it does VS Seeker for the Sycamore. Uh, getting that ready for next turn. That's something that Eagle's been, been really good at, is actually always making sure he has his next turn supporter in hand, so he's not spending resources trying to get it in case he desperately needs it. All right, four to four prizes now. Igor is one game away from winning Costa Mesa Regionals. Meanwhile, Finn looking to play from behind. Yeah, very behind right now. He's got a small bench. He's using the single puzzle. Uh, just nudging that count up by one. And it's crazy to see say that Finnegan's behind right now when his opponent just has a Tapu Lele and a Garboder in play. But <laughs> Yeah, but it's the, the problem is there's also a Trubbish down that very quickly become a trash -a lunch Trubbish uh, and cause a lot of problems. Or yeah, else... every card Finnegan tries to play to come back, like that puzzle time. Uh, okay, 20 more damage to my Garboder. Yeah, and that's what a lot of people say about these, these trash lunch decks, is if they go late, you drag out the game, you stall, you switch, you're just giving them more tools or more items to hit you with. We do see the choice band go down onto the active Tapu Lele, uh, a float stone among the Trubbishes. Uh, so probably prepping up there for the uh, the immediate kind of future. We do see Tapu Lele hit the bench there, uh, obviously not able to wonder tag because of Garbotoxin. And the Sycamore coming down. Basically able to set up whatever he needs in this instance, uh, ready to kind of sweep up after this Tapu Lele potentially gets knocked out. So the one card he is missing is that Trash Lanch Garboder. Doesn't have any in play, and I don't see any in his hand as well. You do have to wonder why he hasn't bought one out yet. Maybe he's kind of saving it. Oh, well, we do see an Ultra Ball possibly from Igor here. It's hovering. He's got it in hand. There we go. Looks like the Ultra Ball. Checking to see what's in his deck, but Trash Lanch Garboder will come out this turn. There it is. That way, kind of a catch-all. Like, okay, if this Lele, Lele does get knocked out, which 
Finnegan still needs a Choice Band or a Skyfield and a Pokemon to knock out this Tapu Lele. Yeah, I mean, at this time, uh, the Tapu Lele on Eagle's side is just going to be able to start dumping damage down with Energy Drive, uh, kind of keeping it, keeping it going. It's not going to be the biggest of Energy Drops or Damage Drops, rather, but it's still enough. And if you can get a couple of them, that makes the Trash Lance ranges a whole lot easier. I think he's still deciding on this Ultra Ball. Yeah, there is There's the trash lunch. Eagle down to very few cards in deck. Uh, all this stuff kind of flooding the bench right now. So this Tapu Lele is doing eighty or 110 damage with that choice band and the double colorless on the Zorark. And with it being 10 short of being knocked out next turn by Zorark, Finn really needs to try to find something. And with that puzzle of time, looking at the top three last turn, I don't know if he's going to be able to actually get everything he needs. No, it's going to be going to be close. Um, but definitely another Trash Lunch. Actually, going on the Floatstone variety. Uh, and again, it looks like a VS Seeker. Uh, going to grab a uh, supporter. He's actually pulled teammates out. Yeah, saying, all right, if you don't get the knockout, I'm sitting pretty. If you do get the knockout, I'm essentially going to win. So yeah. 110 now. <laughs> so good onto, luck. Onto it. He does go for Skyfield, so... He... Looks like he's fishing for a knockout, but then he's just going to get teammates. Alright, depends. Does he have a way to end Igor or red card him? Yeah, red card would be huge here. Um, of course, that will just but give him no. the, the options. He does, of course, promote the one with the float stone on. Uh, there's teammates, and he's in, into the deck. Man, Igor has just been putting on a clinic, showing how good his deck is against Zorark. Yep, he's grabbed a couple of cards there. Uh, should be in a good position to just start tidying up these knockouts. Finnegan did manage to get some more Zerumas down, but I feel it could be a little bit too late for those to, to try and start going, especially with the options uh, that we've seen from Igor. Uh, it does have... <laughs> There's the Choice Band Double Colors on the Tapu Lele again, showing it's just as powerful an attacker as anything else in Igor's deck. Yep, he's going to bring himself uh, with the knockout down to his last two prizes. It's actually both players on their last two, but the resources on, on Eagle's side are just there for the win, I think. Yeah, that's what's been happening for these two games. Finn has been taking prizes, but he really just can't finish the game out. He can't close. And with that ability lock and just him being punished for playing more items, it, it's really looking bleak. Yeah, especially with the ability to... Um... You know, just keep pumping damage out with Trash Lunch. I think what is in Eagle's hand is there's so many outs right now. If, if Tapu Lele takes damage for some reason, then hey, he's just going to be able to ace roll that up if he can find one of those and then bring in one of these. Oh, he has it, for sure. Yep. <laughs> he's, uh, he's forced a double puzzle out of Finnegan, bringing the total items in the discard up to seven. So it would be 140 if he's got a choice band available for the other Trubbish. Uh, the choice band he did commit to Tapu Lele, but if he does have it, then great, he's going to be able to take the knockout on the Tapu Lele on the Finnegan's bench, and uh, would just need a Guzma to do that. Yeah, it looks like he's choosing Colrus and a double colorless. Well, he's just it. trying to draw into whatever he can. Yep, he is going to start going for it with this uh, Zerua. Going to play his Colrus now, so... Play down all the Pokemon in his hand. Yeah, completely empty the hand out there and, and try and get something back in this game. Uh, needs to deal the damage as soon as the Zoroark hits the field. So he still needs another Pokemon or a Choice Band and the Zoroark to take the knockout. Yep, I mean, he's got a good chance of hitting, I think. That's why he's going through the discard, uh, making sure his count's correct. Uh, does he hit the Zoroark, though? Or does he have a way to get the Zoroark? That's the important thing. Uh, he's going to feel blower, so he is going to be given access to abilities. All right, but that does put eight items in the discard. That's insane. Uh, he's going to be able to use his abilities to bring out the execute. Um, and then... Pokemon communication, putting back Tapu Lele GX. There's yep. the Zorark. Yep, that one's going down nice and tidily. Uh, the eggs are coming right back out. They're going onto the bench. And that is game. Yep. Being able to riot us beating 180 damage. Taking his last two prizes, and Finnegan pulls out a game where he really needed to rely on a big chorus at the end there. Yep, but the big chorus uh, paid off. He managed to hit the cards he needed, and, and even though Eagle had a lot of pressure on the board, 
Finnegan just found those quick comebacks, managed to weave his way in and, and sneak in enough. I think maybe Eagle was a little bit slow to to go for it with the trash lunch. He really wanted to only bring up trash lunch when he was getting one hit knockouts on things. Um, but these aggro tapu lolis that he was playing were giving up two prizes every time they finally went down. Yeah, you lose your utility of playing a card like trash lunch garboder. And we actually didn't even see a Drampa GX that game. Yeah, that was a bit of a problem. You know, you said it only plays two. Um, not having a single one, no disruption on the energy. Kind of curious as to why we didn't see that, if he just decided he didn't want to go about it, or if he put them in the prizes. Yeah, and using, like, no access to Big Wheel, that turn two, Yep. all that stuff, and it's going to be interesting to see how game three is going to shape out. I wasn't really expecting game three. Finnegan kind of seemed down and out there, uh, but drawing that field blower, too, gave him... An the right. abilities to bring back Egg and hit those numbers. Yeah, he had to hit Field Blower. That was the only way out of that situation. It, it truly was the thing that saved him at that kind of last juncture. All right, but here we go. Igor starting Trubbish gets that Tapu Lele for Wonder Tag. Do we see the Bridget now? <laughs> Doesn't show it. Now he's going to show it. I mean, he has to Wonder Tag for good stuff early doors. We have seen Igor loves picking up these Sycamores, though and actually holding on to them for the following turn. Yeah. Uh, usually if he's confident in his hand, I think he kind of plays out the rest uh, to the point where he's able to, to work with that hand. He has thumbed it onto the front of the deck, so let's see what he ends up with. Having a good rummage through, seeing what energies are in there, what's missing, uh, making that note, of course, of what's missing. That's important. And they can figure out those prizes. I'm thinking it's probably a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's taking the full time on the search, making sure... Uh, nothing goes unaccounted for. He just double checks his hand, and uh, this... I've, I've I've actually done that once where I think something's prized, but I, it's actually in my hand. <laughs> uh, it was very embarrassing, <laughs> but at least it wasn't prized. Well, that's good. <laughs> I think there should be a a story, the most embarrassing play you've ever made. Yeah. Uh... Someone could start that. It's a, talk, it's a talk show waiting to happen. Yeah. It's kind of like a bad Maury. <laughs> Most embarrassing moments revealed in Block Capitals. Ooh. Yeah. Well, or you get a lie detector test involved there. Like, I have never chorused for two. <laughs> <laughs> the test results say that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it, okay, he does have the Bridget. That, probably a one off. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe didn't see it on the first shuffle through. Uh, Bridget's really nice actually with these these decks right now because Drampa being a GX, Bridget coming from a time before GXs, meaning it still counts as a basic Pokemon and it's not caught by the EX ruling. Yeah, also getting that pseudo Wudo, something that's very important early on for Finnegan trying to take big knockouts. Yeah, is just limiting his bench to four. Or like, okay, you're forced to hex Maniac, but. You don't want to hex me against this deck because I don't play abilities. Right. It's it's so strange to to see how that one goes. Um, the one thing I will say is obviously Roadblock will be turned off by a potential Garbo Toxin, but I think what what Eagle's going to do here is put himself in such a lead, and then turn Garbo Toxin on. Yeah, and the thing you would have to think about for later on in the game is for that turn Finnegan gets the Field Blower to get the trades and the eggs going. But as soon as he field blowers, he could lose his whole bench to Sudo Widow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could just leave it there. I mean. And unfortunately for Igor, he does not have an energy turn one and yeah. is just passed with the Trubbish active with a Floatstone. Meanwhile, Finnegan, double colorless on the Zorua, Floatstone as well. Shaman for th two? Three, I think. Either way, not a good Shaman you want to see. Yeah, he wants you set up for six in that one, and that's not what he gets. But he does need to get more Pokemon on the bench. There's just no two ways about that, because the, if he doesn't get more down, uh, and, uh, he's on the back it, foot. It's, I think, yeah, he's setting up for a Colorus, because when you bench Shaman, he already loses a spot. Now you're down to three. Then you bench and execute. Now you're down to just two spots on your bench. Yeah, Colorus cosplaying as Cynthia there, uh, drawing for six. <laughs> Giving Chorus the, the better cosplay option. He couldn't cosplay as uh, Professor Oak's new theory? How do you co cosplay as the theory itself? Because like, I can understand how you'd cosplay as Professor Oak, <laughs> but then how do you play as the theory? 
Do you dress up as like a document or something? Maybe like Professor Oak with a question mark? Maybe? I think we're reaching on this one. All right, level ball off that Colrus gets another Zorua, potentially for Finnegan here. So I'm looking at the hand, making sure he's uh, not looking at something that's prized but in the hand. And there we go, Zorua. This is actually a bad turn of setup for, for Finnegan. Uh, yeah, we might even see a retreat to the Execute to try to sacrifice it to keep the Zorua alive. Because remember, Igor has been partial to attacking with Tapu Lele and Energy Drive. And that Zorua is prime for the taking with that double colorless. Premium location right there. Uh, he is going to... Oh, change his mind. He's just taking his time. Giving, and there is the retreat and the pass. Now, does I think Igor actually has a Tapu Lele in his hand. Tapu oh, yeah. Lele could search out that Guzma, but does he have the double colorless to actually punish Finnegan for... Oh, see the Tapu Lele. There's one card tucked away right against the, the crux of his hand there. Uh, is it going to be Tapu Lele? Let it go. There well, it is. Actually, we know he doesn't have the energy from the turn before because yeah, he, he didn't attach. Yeah. So he's going to grab. Oh, but there is the Garbotoxin coming down. And thanks to the Floatstone, it is now active. Choice band on the Drampa GX and a Colrus 4 8. Yep, good quality Colrus there. Um, maybe looking to grab. Just It just needs an energy. That's yep. all he needs. Um, because then he'd just be able to switch up into the Drampa uh, and get going with it. So double colorless energy would probably be best. That way you could take the knockout on the execute with Tapu Lele. Right. Uh, other than that, maybe if he just gets a regular energy, he might think about Big Wheel. Yeah, Big Wheel's an option. He's actually sat on three psychic energy off that, that eight, so... And he only plays four. <laughs> yeah. All of them in hand there. Um, he's just going to take his time before he decides exactly where to put it. He might not even do anything, too, because with a hand this big from the Colorus, you have seven cards in hand. Big Wheel's kind of a moot point, so yeah. Knowing he has the Guzma in hand for next turn, brings up the Tapu Lele and just passes. Yeah. It's... Kind of forcing Finn to actually be the first one to act. Yeah, I mean, Finn does have the option to just get his Zoroarks out right now. Uh, gets a nice double colorless down. Uh, VS Seeker for a, a better Colorus this time, more cards. Uh, if he decides to go for it, maybe just getting it there to, to save for later. Nah, going for it right now. <laughs> and here we go. Colors has been such a huge supporter card in Expanded, especially with all these decks playing Skyfield. Uh, it's just, I don't think we've really seen a supporter like change into the format this much since Bridget with Tapu Lele coming out. Yeah. It's, it, Colrus with the, the fact that people are actually playing Skyfield and 16 is an option is really, really nice for, for that card, uh, able to capitalize off it. But, you know, Finnegan's still limited by this Parallel City. Yeah. There's the Zorak GX coming down, first one of the game. And there's a red card from Finn. That's what he needed, because remember, Igor retreated into the Tapu Lele, knowing he had Guzma for next turn. Yeah. I mean, and you kind of think like, okay, my opponent didn't play an N, he played a Chorus, I'm sitting pretty. But no, Finn drew that red card. Yeah, the red card has been one of the most uh, interesting additions, I think, to this format. So, so disruptive. Um, and especially when you're playing against an opponent, you're trading two or three times a turn and getting huge 10, 12 card hands. Your opponent's struggling with just the four. That's automatically going to give you an advantage in, in available resources. All right, there's Battle Compressor. Probably trying to get rid of some of those useless cards in his deck. Certainly it looks the like premium. he's eyeing three supporters. Certainly the premium time to thin it out. Um, doesn't even have access to trade right now, so everything he draws has to be so, so valuable. And um, more valuable draws means closer he gets to picking up that field blower. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he only plays the one, so anything he can do to try to get to it faster, that's what he needs. But remember, if he field blowers the garb, Sudo Widow becomes active. Yeah. And if you feel blows the, you know, he gets rid of the choice fan and the Parallel City, Pseudowood is the problem. Yeah. At the moment, he's still got to get around Parallel City.
No, I don't even think he has a way to retreat the egg. Yeah. Nope, I'm just leaving it in the active there. Uh, there's the double colorless. Either off the top or from that red card. Tabu so, Lele can start going for it. Yeah, now here's the thing. Igor could take the knockout, which I think he's going to do. Because if he had the Guzma, that's definitely the better play. And look, there's the N from Igor. Yep, making up for that red card, actually. Being able to play pretty much everything out of his hand. Uh, and then drop the N. So really, really nice play there from Igor. Uh, able to just keep on going for the next couple of turns. And pick up a knockout at the end of this one. Yeah, and we always talk about that seven prize game that you try to force your opponent to play. But Igor doesn't really care about that. He's he can always kind of take a knockout. And just anytime he wants to take a prize, he's welcome. he welcomes it. Yeah, I mean... It gets you ahead. If, as I say, if he doesn't have the Guzma, there's no point just leaving it on the bench. The only thing I would say about it is it does give him room to play down one more potential Zorua into Zorua combo. That is true. Um, which means that damage kind of streaming from Finnegan is going to be pretty good if he can get there. Uh, he does have the Riotus beating ready to go, but it's going to be so, so weak without this field blower. There's the extra Zorua coming down on the bench. Yeah, like you said, unless he has the cards he needs, which... Again, another big Colrus coming out, possibly from Finn. Yep, he's going to play it again, going for that another eight. Uh, draw up if he wants, going to see if there's anything in the hand he wants to play beforehand. Uh, have a little mull of the turn. I feel like uh, every time he plays Colrus, he's like playing a slot machine. Yeah. And <laughs> it's like, please try again. Yeah, yeah. And eventually he just needs to hit that jackpot, get that field blower. Cherry, cherry, <laughs> It's always it's so galling when you you play one of these decks that you know you get to draw these big turns off and you still fall short. It's it's crazy to me how often that happens. Yeah, especially with the amount of cards you actually get a draw. He's already up to five items in the discard as well. So Igor may not have revealed the trash lunch tra Garbodor right now, but you know it's laying in wait, saying I'm going to do a hundred, maybe a hundred and thirty damage if I find the choice band for it. So you need to be careful on how much damage you take right now. And the room is kind of emptied out now. I have to make sure to be a little quiet because there's really no one here. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the very last game of the day. All of our tournaments have been concluded. The Video Game Championship concluded a little bit earlier today uh, with the Vavillion in finals. Really? Did you remember that was a Pokemon, Jeremy? I did. I did remember. Definitely. Um, but, you know... We are the longest tournament of the day. We've had some mid-seasons, had some League Cups. Uh, another fantastic event where we, where we see Finnegan kind of mulling over his decisions. Uh, another fantastic event by Kim Carey and the Second City Gym team. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, day one did end pretty early, too. Oh, yeah, day one was, uh, was an absolute doddle. Uh, day two, you know, unfortunately, you've got those long matches. And when <laughs> people in top eight take 75 minutes, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. And there we go, right is speeding, but for a measly 80 damage, there's the oh, Ace Roller no. play. Igor loves playing Ace Roller on his damage Tapu Lele. I mean, I would love it too. It's definitely one of his favorite <laughs> plays. Looks like the Choice Band's going to the other Tapu Lele right now. Yeah, Choice Band, he has that double colorless for that Drampa. And he also has just the active Garbodor with Floatstone, so retreat and We'll see a Berserk for 110 damage. Yep, getting that choice band into play has been been crucial. Yeah. Because now it means uh, any Trash Alanche you can get out late game. If that Zoroark hasn't had any healing done to it by any kind of strange shenanigans, is going to get knocked out. I will say it's interesting that Finnegan still lacking a little bit of, of that kind of power. Yeah, it does manage to get rid of the Parallel City, though. Yeah, Skyfield coming down, Finn benching. Ooh. Just <laughs> benching a ton of Pokemon. I think six Pokemon this turn. Just the no, five. five. Just five. Yeah, he already yeah. had the Shaman in play. Yeah, he's uh, going to try and take his take his attacks up to a near unstoppable level. Just getting rid of the Dramper and taking more prizes. He's actually down to his last two, I believe. Yeah, but he, no, he's at four prizes. Oh, that was four. his first knockout. Yeah, but, the stacks are uh, You know what's good against the first knockout? Uh, teammates. Oh, again, eager with the teammates. Uh, maybe able to just grab the trash launch that he wants, uh, and the parallel city, of course. Oh, this is rough. He, 
Igor leaving Finn with just Zor was in play, especially after this Tapu Lele comes and energy drives for the knockout. Yeah, he does. Uh, just making him play just straight Zoroark for the rest of the day here. Uh, no other options. And now Finn did have an explosive turn where he had five Pokemon in hand, but is he going to be able to repeat that same process? I mean, if he doesn't have Zoroark on this turn and he loses this Zerua, then that's all his energy gone. And then I think, you know, we could just see Igor whittle down these Zeruas one by one to take his last three prizes. He is going to get the Field Blower, so that could be a good sign about the incoming Zoroark, maybe wanting to open up the door for a trade. Uh, we'll be able to get potentially one more Pokemon down on the bench as well. Uh, that would be a big deal for him, especially if it's something can help him get back into the game. Yeah, uh, Fuel Blower also important to note, adding another item to the discard. Yeah, I mean, we're coming to a point soon where it really is uh, nigh on impossible, I think, for this uh, Trash Lunch to not take knockouts every single time. Uh, we do see the Ultra Ball, so he's going to be guaranteed at least a Zoroark right now. Igor counting the items, making sure everything is correct for the game state. And I think, what, maybe seven or eight? Yep, he's uh, just mulling it over. Don't think he's going to add to the count until Finnegan's turn is actually done. Uh, because then he's able to... Yeah, eight items, there we go. Yep, make sure he's not playing any more. Um, so yeah, he's already doing 160 damage. Uh, plus any choice bands, we get him to 190. Just needs one more to make these Zoroarks pickable with, with single Trash Lunge. Well, the resistance does come into effect. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's, it's going to be close. I mean, All right, trade into a Zorak GX. Now he can trade again. Does he get another Zorak GX? He does. Oh, he's hit all three. Then he's been able to propagate. This field blower into Zoroark turn is absolutely huge. And he has the Guzma in hand. Ooh. Ooh. So he could honestly just Guzma up the Garboder or the Sudowoodo, depending on what he has in his hand to try and take a knockout, or even just the Trubbish, kind of shut off Trash Lanch for Igor. Yeah, I mean, limit that endgame Trash Lanch play, uh, force him to to try and get you back with Garbotoxin, but, you know, it's still just three Zoroark. Only he had Watch and Learn, Sudo <laughs> and Fighting Energy. Rolling over. This is a very important turn. Oh, he's hit so many things now. He's got three Zoroarks. Two of them now have the double colorless energy in play. So uh, he just needs to be able to keep these going. And I think he's at this point in the game now where every turn he's just going to ride his beating as much as he can. Uh, the big thing for him here, though, is he does need to get a couple more Pokemon in play. And he has the option to do that via Execute. And the thing he needs to be careful about, though, is... I wonder if he can have access to red card this turn, because as I see in Igor's hand, he has a Versus Seeker, and if Finn does choose to knock out like the Trubbish, just teammates comes out and destroys him. Yeah, we are going to see the one of the Execute coming down. The Colrus is a uh, decent Colrus there for seven, actually. All right, that means the Pseudo Widow is not getting shut off, and that's the only bench spots available for Finn. Yep, that's uh, the kind of the problem here. Uh, with with how he's playing this one, it's you know both of them limited to just those four Pokemon. Does mean Riders beating though is at least going to do one hundred damage to this Tapu Lele, uh, or enough to you know start taking knockouts of these benched Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. And off of the seven cards from Colrus, let's see what Finn actually got. I don't really know if much cards can actually help him right now. And the thing that is also available to Igor is using that Versus Seeker for Acerola to kind of just completely mitigate Finnegan's turn. Yeah, that's going to be big. He, he needs to basically make sure that anything that comes out this turn doesn't end the game for him. Double Puzzle of Time. Uh, going to be able to grab the red Ooh, card. He does have the red card and, and a field, field blower. blower. Yeah, but he's going to be holding on to that. So, I mean, he can now leave the Garbotoxin available kind of for him because he knows as soon as he plays it, Hey, I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm yeah. going to be able to trade next turn. So Eagle's basically forced, if he grabs a tool off this red card, just hold on to it and, and play without Garbotoxin for a little while. 
Yeah, especially because if Igor attaches a tool to the Garboder, it turns off the Pseudo Wudo, and that means Finn can just bench a bunch of Pokemon. I think he'd like to be able to pull off a Parallel City from this, uh, this red card. We do see more items being counted, all the way up to 9 here, as it's just Riot's beating for 100. Uh, we see a Trubbish, an Energy, and uh, a look in the discard. That's not a good sign when your opponent looks at their discard. Yeah, that's not ideal. He's going to be a seeker, seeker. for a Colrus. Yeah, this is going to be a, a sizable, sizable Colrus. A nice nine available to him there. You've got to think he's going to hit something. It's only eight. Oh, only eight. My apologies. Two seater would. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The road is being blocked <laughs> on severely. both sides. A lot of traffic going on here. It's like my commute to work. Just what I like to think about at the weekends. <laughs> Get to sit on one of Florida's busiest highways. Anyway, back to the game. Colors for eight. Does it get Igor what he needs? Uh, first of all, he needs that trash lanch garb odor, and I think I see an ultra ball. Yeah, now is the perfect time to get going with trash lanch garb odor because look at the ridiculous number of items in there. It's up to nine. Swinging for 160. Yeah. Uh, when you take into account the resistance. One more, and then that resistance doesn't even matter. And it does cost any choice bands to go with it as well. Uh, we do see the discard. Ooh. Tapu Lele and a double colorless. Uh, oh. Really just valuing the other cards in his hand. And Trash Lance Garbiter will be hitting the field. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if he were actually just attacks with this Tapu Lele, dealing the 110, kind of sacrificing it, or actually retreat and hope Finn doesn't have the Hex Maniac to take the knockout on Garboder. Yeah, he's actually going to go for it with the Trash Lanch here. And yeah, Trash Lanch dealing 160 damage. Yeah, not got the choice ban as well, so he knows it's going to be gonna be a bit of a problem. Now he's still going to take 100 damage back in this Garboder with 120. Uh, really, really nice being able to, to withstand that. Um, and then what he needs to do is find a way... I guess to just get another trash lunch there. Um, well, he does have, tr uh, Finn does have trades this turn for him, so yep. if he can find a Versus Seeker for a Hex Maniac, he will be able to at least take the knockout. Yeah, that'd be really, really nice if he can, if he can do that. Um, then he, you know, he does commit the final item that we need for that boiling point. He'd still be one off, uh, he would need a choice band. Yeah, that, that, that'd be the big deal, is, is finding that choice band. And we do see Igor looking through his discard once more. Probably not counting his items, I'm like Finnegan, but... Do you see the, the trade for the stand? Oh no, the Foul Play is our work. Foul Play could have been a fun Pokemon to see, but we, we haven't actually seen it this whole entire yeah. match. Foul Play the Trash <laughs> Yeah. Punish Igor for his liberal use of items. He's not worried about it. Could be, yeah, retreating the Zorark to the fresh one on the bench. Does yeah. he have the Hex Maniac? We'll see. I mean, he was pretty liberal with it. Uh, yeah, there, there it is. is. Oh. Hex Maniac, execute, take the knockout, riotous beating. Forcing action again on Igor to do something. He retreated his Tapu Lele, so there's no energy on that anymore. Yeah, I mean, but he's now playing, he's playing the very video. fast. Yeah, he, he kind of realizes what's going on here. He's going to discard. He's going to Corio. Oh, this is game. Oh my goodness. He's oh. done it. He's, he's counting One, two, the Pokemon. Three, three. four. Oh, that, oh, that's a six. lot of Pokemon. Yeah. That wow. is. You wanted it. I wanted weekend, it all Jeremy. weekend. He pulls out that Aura Choreo plate right at the very end, just dropping damage counters. Those eggs that he put on the bench to hit the number, punished. Punished. Uh, wow, what a way to end the regionals here at Costa Mesa, California. And Igor Costa is your regional champion. He kept I that. think that's his second regional win of this season. Yeah, Hartford was his first when he played yeah. that very that super consistent Volcanian deck. Um, and now he's done it. That Aura Choreo play, he kept that so close to the chest. Yeah. And I mean, that's one thing. We've talked about these eggs and, and the effects they can have. If you get them turned off by Garbotoxin, then hey, they're kind of worthless. They're four dead cards. But even though he had them out, he had a couple in the discard from when he did have access to them. They gave him the numbers to punish the ones on the bench and take the knockouts there. Man, what an exciting finish. Uh, especially since it looks like Finn was trying to 
get come back a little there and it was it was working yeah, I mean, Finn was getting so, so close. He would got rid of the trash lunch damage. That wasn't going to be a problem anymore. The energy had been forced off the Tapu Lele, but Eagle just pulls out this big play right at the very end. The play that he needed to win the game, wrap up his second regional title of the year, and wrap up this regional for us. Man, what a weekend. Yeah, it's been quite the weekend here in Costa Mesa, where